You're welcome to this YouTube channel. My name is Thomas and I am here to sh quickly share with you guys um, this solution I found around Nox app player not running on Mac OS or Nox app player getting stuck at 99% on mac os so as you can see my nox app player is running smoothly and uh, so i'm actually running my i'm running on um mac os ventura 13.1 which is the latest uh, os upgrade for mac os okay so for those of us that we're looking to running Android applications on Mac OS, and uh, we 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 we've been running into this issue on of Mac of Nox app are not running properly, you know. So this video is actually the uh, solution because um, before now I actually uh, when I was looking for the solution I discovered that. There is no, there is no, um, no video or no, uh, no material or online resources that actually tackles this very issue concisely. All right, so I thought of sharing this solution with you because it was really a pain in the ass for me. Uh, it took me about two days to unravel the mystery behind this problem. Okay, so. Uh, without further ado, let's get started. The very first thing you want to do is you want to download the latest version of Nox App Player. Then you want to install it. All right. So immediately you install it. Um, it will come along with virtual box like this. All right. So. The next thing you want to do is you want to get rid of this virtual box. All right, you close down your just close down your Nox app player. Then you come to your application here. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. Then you come to your virtual box. You want to trash it. So once you are done trashing it, um you want to ensure that your nox app player is actually closed down okay close down everything then you want to pop up your terminal here like so then you want to check the status of your c s r b2 c s r u2 status all right so you want to hit on enter button. Yours in your own case, yours will be they might not be disabled. Okay, so you want to ensure that it's disabled. So for you to disable it, I think you just need to do CSR util mm, disable. Then if if this command line is not gonna work for you, you can just quickly browse the internet it's pretty much simple okay so browse, browse the internet google it's a friend to it will show you the the right command line to have the system integrity protection disabled on your uh, mac os okay so once you're done doing that then the next thing you want to check for is to know if your system is um, enabled for virtualization all right, so this virtualization, it must, uh, the feature must be on your PC for you to be able to um, have emulators app running on your Mac OS. Okay, so for you to check for that, you have to sh you have to use this command line here. I'm typing it right away. Pipe grep mac dep dot cpu dot features right so so now 
from this input, what you will be searching for is VMX. If VMX is present here, it means your Mac OS is enabled for visualization. All right. So, so that 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 being said, you are good to go. All right. So, the next step to take is to is to come to our uh, system settings you just come to this the top left hand side of your screen this apple icon and click on system settings all right then you want to come down to this privacy and security all right so scroll down scroll down scroll down scroll down then under the security tab you see a little warning here action required or something along that line you want to click on it okay so after clicking on it two options you will see two options the one that we are interested in reads American Oracle so you will see at the right hand side a toggle button all right place beside it so you want to ensure that yours is enabled by default it will be disabled all right so you just enable it once you are done enabling it then you want to close down your finder like so then you want to come to your launch pad then open your Nox app player immediately you pop it up <coughs> um, your PC will ask you for authorization then you will see authorization authorize then ok you don't want to eat on the ok you want to authorize it so once you click on the authorize it will ask you for your password your PC password then you input your password you you do that as fast as possible because the window usually closes closes down pretty much fast so ensure that you input your password as fast as possible then you after inputting it then you click on ok all right so from that time onward your not as a player will be running like this so you'll be able to um do whatever you like um on the nox app player like this you know you can have you can have um you cannot have android apps on your mac os all right you wanna download tiktok you want to do this you want to you know anything you like uh it simulates it simulates uh, android applications exactly all right and it's pretty much fast it runs applications very very fast as you can see you know it's opening up pretty much fast all right so that's what i have for you guys my very first gift of the year and uh, if you love the, this video this file that i just shared with you guys I want you to do just one thing for me like this video don't stop at that share this video with your friends all right then show me some love show me appreciation under the comment section telling me you love my video all right so if by any means why you're trying to implement um any of the steps in this video and you run into any problem kindly put the um the problem in the comment section all right so i will read all your comments and try as much as i can to attend to your unique challenges all right so that will be that will be the end of this video guys uh thanks for watching Bye.